getting into stress into four types of stress, we have physical, chemical, thermal, and emotional. Talking about physical, well, this is long hours at work, physical exertion, loss of sleep, any type of injury, the chemical, drugs, alcohol, refined foods, preservatives, artificial sweeteners, and toxins from the air. Pretty much anything we put in our mouth, breathe through our nose, put on our skin, is chemical. Thermal is a type of stress. Being out in the sun too long in the summertime or being out in the cold in the wintertime too long is definitely a stress upon the body. And over long periods of time, it will affect the health of the individual. Last but not least, emotional. A relationship, work, death of a loved one. I think we can all relate to being emotionally stressed, whether it be a death of a loved one or um, a divorce, um, whatever, uh, problems at work, any type of stress like that with the emotions, it, it definitely can have its toll on the body and cause health problems down the road. When we go through stress, we go through a process called general adaptative syndrome. And that's, this was, this was uh, produced by Hans Selye many years ago. And what happens first in the alarm reaction, this is any, any type of stress, there's the alarm reaction, there's the first stage of response. And this is the example we've heard of a 98 pound mother that lifts up a car to rescue her baby. And this is due to a dramatic release of epinephrine in her body to allow her to lift up that car off the baby. If the stress continues on, it, the body enter, enters into an, a resistance stage and this is when the adrenal gland enlarges, um, trying to overcome the stress that is placed upon it. And this is continual stress. If it keeps on going on, the, the adrenal glands just get burnt out and they become exhausted. Just like it says, adrenals no longer meets the demands that are placed upon it. And there we have long-term health problems, long-term emotional problems, uh, functional hypoadrenia or the adrenals that are underactive and then you have diseases that come in with Addison's, Cushing, Cushing's, Huntington's, Chorea, etc. Um, different types of diseases that can happen with people that have been under long-term stress. Mm -hmm.